What is up guys dapper here and we are back with another video a few of you have been asking me to make my own build and uh, Today we are gonna do just that so I have my little starter block here and let's go ahead and jump right into it so the best way to start a build, I think, is to be completely unprepared like I am now. And uh, we're, we're just going to drag a couple things that we need. Uh, probably just the uh, the old the old block. I'm blind. I'm blind. There it is. All right. That's basically all we need to get started. So we're going to take that. I like to do this little, uh, you know little starter raise it up a little bit uh basically we're gonna be building a hovercraft and uh the only thing you really need to do for a hovercraft is you know make it as blocky as possible that is um uh exactly how you want to do it every time uh no need to worry about looks who needs looks uh so we're just gonna set up this random thing just gonna start throwing some blocks down uh let's go ahead and test out our seat here and uh, as you can see our feet are actually clipping into the block this is perfect this is exactly what we want to make this look good uh we are gonna continue here and again uh make it blocky as blocky as possible you know you you can't go wrong with something that looks like a brick uh or a block so we are gonna just kind of get our basic shape here and uh we're off center as you can see uh again not a problem uh this this will actually help the overall looks of the vehicle we're trying to make uh you know the more off center the better uh so yeah now we are gonna go try to find our hover pods because uh th it's this that's gonna help us you know uh not drag on the ground Although if it does drag on the ground, again, uh, th this is fine. You know, as long as it hovers in some areas, you know, uh, you'll be good. Uh, one thing that you're you're not gonna wanna worry about is having your hover pods, you know, match in any way. So if, if we just stick a couple over here, yeah, that is fine. Uh, this isn't gonna affect how it handles at all. So we're just gonna throw those down just like so. And um, next we're gonna throw on the thrusters. Uh, thrusters are pretty important. Again, we're just gonna slap those wherever it feels like they work. Uh, that looks good, perfect, excellent. This thing is starting to come together. Uh, we're actually gonna remove this because we're gonna want to be able to power our vehicle. And the way I'm gonna do that is with this reactor here. And uh, again, don't worry about centering or anything. Uh, you know, that's unnecessary, it's a waste of time. So we're just gonna throw this on here, uh, make it as big as possible. Uh, you know, we're not gonna worry about overheating or anything. So if it overheats, that is fine. Uh, we're also gonna take our hovercraft computer, as you see here, and uh, we're just gonna slap that, you know, on top. You know, I think that looks good. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and test it. Oh, oh, I forgot one of the most important parts. You know, this is this is something that you, you need to control your vehicle here. So we need a yoke. So I'm gonna go up and down this list until my blind eyes see it. There it is. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and grab a yoke there and uh, slap that bad boy on. And uh, now we're gonna test our vehicle. So we're gonna see how this works. And uh, look at that, it looks like we're floating magically. This is perfect, that's exactly what we want. And, um, hmm, it, oh, oh, right, right. I did miss a step here. So we are actually going to have to hook this yoke up to our computer here. So I'm just gonna grab that, do that, and it's gonna freeze my game. Uh, which is perfect. This is exactly what we want. Uh, now I'm gonna try to figure out how to unfreeze 
uh, without closing the game. Um, yes, I don't know if that's possible. So we're actually just gonna close the game. No big deal. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna head right back in. Okay, perfect. We are back now. We're for real gonna test. And it does appear that our vehicle is overheating. Uh, no problem. Uh, we'll just make our battery slightly smaller. Again, overheating isn't a big deal, but as long as we can move, that is what we want. So uh, we're just gonna do that. I, I think uh, floating blocks look great. Uh, the more floating blocks you actually have, the better. So now we're going to continue here. And uh, ooh, as you can hear, uh, it sounded pretty wild. Uh, also, as you can see, we are not level. Again, this is something that is good. You know, not being level when we're making a hovercraft uh, is is essential for uh, for how it controls. You know, you definitely don't want something that's level, especially when you try to you know stop and stay still. As you, as you can see, we're we're kind of drifting a little bit. That's perfect. That's exactly what we're going for. All right. Now that our hovercraft is on the ground, we're actually going to move it back up so we can continue to work on it. So we're just gonna slap this brick on it and we're gonna pull out one of our other useful tools here. That is the anti-grav tool. And we are going to shoot this thing up a little bit so we can work on it. There we go. I wanna try to get under it a little bit more. And just like so, perfect. So uh, as you can see now, it is floating away. Uh, again, uh, this this is no problem. You know, we can just work on it as it's floating. So <laughs> the uh, the next thing we're gonna do is kind of give this a little bit of a better shape. Uh, again, sticking with our blockiness, we're just gonna flesh it out a little more before we add the details. Okay, I think we have a good overall shape to start with. Uh, the next step we're going to do is start giving it some angles. So we're gonna grab our wedge block here. And we're gonna start giving it a few angles. This is perfect. Okay, I think that is enough angles. Um, Next, we are going to add some details, and uh, we have these brand new, uh, like, luminescent blocks, so we're definitely going to be using a lot of those. Uh, I definitely think the brighter this vehicle is, the better. Uh, let's get some glow tiles in here. Perfect. Uh, coffee mug. Uh, I think every vehicle needs a coffee mug uh, right by the driver's seat, uh, preferably within reach. Uh, this is a necessity for most vehicles that I make. Uh, we're also going to get some lighting for the front. All right, so we're definitely going to want some lighting for up front. So we're just going to slap as many as possible over here just so we can see at all times. Uh, even though we're mostly going to be driving on this planet, which even in the dark sections, uh, we can mostly see. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. So uh, it, just in case, uh, we definitely need appropriate lighting for any scenario i think that is perfect and we're gonna go ahead and start adding some of the of the details so i'm gonna go ahead and slap some of these blocks down okay so this is starting to look fantastic uh i believe the next step will be to add tons of details uh we are going to add as many details as possible uh again you're going to want to cram these as close together as you can uh never mind how it looks uh we're just going to make it look uh as detailed as possible all right i have now filled my bar with a bunch of these uh odd looking shapes um you can never go wrong with a bunch of odd looking shapes the more odd shapes you have, the better. Uh, this is how you make vehicles as detailed as possible. You know, you really just want to slap them down anywhere, uh, no matter where it is, just so you get the maximum amount of detail possible. 
So I'm just going to start sticking these uh, everywhere I can. And as you can see, it's already starting to look fantastic. Just going to get one of these in here. Okay, that is perfect. Also, if you're wondering how I'm using these uh, luminescent blocks, uh, you can put your game on experimental mode and it gives you access to these. Uh, piping is also really important. Um, it doesn't matter if they line up as you can see here. Uh, I'm sure they will still be functioning just fine. Uh, but you just want to lay out piping in as many spots as you can until you feel that it looks good, which is exactly what we're doing now. Okay, that is perfect. If you ever misplace a block, as you see I did here, uh, you can just right click to remove the block that you didn't want to remove, as I did there, and uh, eventually get the block that you want to remove, just like so. And uh, I believe this is almost done. Uh, we have a very important step next. Uh, we need to paint our vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and move towards the paint section. And we're just gonna grab any number of colors here. Uh, it really doesn't matter if they, the colors look good together or not. Um, you basically just wanna slap as many colors on it as you can, and uh, we'll get this thing looking good. Okay, now that our vehicle is colored, uh, we can go ahead and remove our starting block. And uh, of course, we're gonna be still in space here, even though we are 20 feet off the ground. So all we have to do now is push that back down to the ground. And as you can see, we're, we're lighting up the area. This is perfect. Uh, so no matter where we go, it's, it's super bright and we can see everything we need to see. And uh, yeah, this is great. This is how you make your first hovercraft. Uh, so as you can see, this functions very well. Uh, it's pretty quick, actually, uh, especially with our off-balance load. It's actually making us uh, quite a bit faster than a, you know, regular, regularly balanced hovercraft would be. Uh, as you can see, we're flying off into space, which uh, ultimately gives us a faster mode of travel. You know, just kind of jumping and bouncing around. Uh, so yeah, this is this is perfect. Uh, we're gonna go over the water here real quick. Yeah, this is uh, this is nice and quick. Uh, let's go ahead and take it off a jump just so we can see. Uh, you see the nose diving. Uh, this is exactly what we intended. Um, yeah, I would say this is a great vehicle. Uh, if you guys, let me know what you guys think about this one. <laughs> if you like the video, uh, let me know down in the comment section below or, uh, you know, like the video. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to hit the subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Peace.